Okay, here's a uh, longleaf yellow pine tree with a dead branch. So I'm gonna go up here, see if this might be doable for bow drill material. It's kind of up and off the ground. Well, possible. Break off this big branch here. Okay. See if some of this might be doable. Been uh, up and off the ground, and it's in the sunlight, so the sun will help make sure there's no moisture, humidity, or at least reduce it. It might be any moisture content. We're okay, gonna give one of these saw palmetto branches a try again today for pre uh, preparing uh, natural uh, cordage for the bowstring. How do we go with this particular branch? Yesterday I tried with like an older shoot and it was kind of brittle. So I'm going to try probably a more younger looking one. Maybe this one handed. Let's prepare it and make it a bowstring. Here's another uh, saw palmetto. Let's see if I can find some of this uh, palmetto hair. Use this for tinder bundle material. There we go. Monkey fur. Nice fibrous material. Good. Stuff. Okay, it looks like this is going to be a pine and palmetto day. Uh, these are the raw materials I just found. It's about two in the afternoon, and I've got the saw palmetto branch here. I'm going to break down and use as a bowstring, and then all these other various parts I'll use for the bow, the fireboard, the spindle, and then I actually found a whole bunch more of this uh, saw palmetto hair or monkey fur. We got a ton of that, and I don't know, just a platform for the to work on. And then I actually found some punk wood, which oddly enough I don't stumble across too often. So that'd be nice to work with. See how this all works out. Okay, I've just been uh, beating up on this palmetto branch, kind of breaking it down. And the camera went out. So I thought it was recording. <laughs> anyway, I was just kind of using the hammer method. Just taking this and just kind of beating down on this palmetto branch. Break up the fibers. And just kind of laying these other broken branches down. But they're really not on solid ground. Breaking down the fibers. Okay, uh, got my materials made. This is the saw palmetto uh, bowstring, along with a pine bow, my uh, bearing block with uh, some green vegetation, just a grapevine leaf it's tucked into the socket here. And I had trouble trying to find a straight enough piece of pine for the spindle. So, in this, and I'm actually going to try, I don't know, it's like a partially rotted piece of pine. So we'll see how this works out for the uh, fireboard. And got my platform and I will give a try. Some punk wood. And then uh, uh, yeah. 
palmetto hair here for uh, potential uh, tuna bundle material. <coughs> May end up using maybe a chunk of this as a fireboard if the, this other fireboard doesn't work out. And see if I can go about doing a burn in. See how this works out. Hmm. That's what I was afraid of. Interesting challenge this time around is. Uh, one side of this branch, the spindle that I'm making, is kind of hard, and then the other side is actually like partially rotted. So it's not centering out. I'm going to try to get it started in the fireboard. The point keeps breaking down on it. trouble to try to find a straight enough spindle and you break it. Alright, let's see if I can work something else out. Alright, here's my alternative uh, spindle options. So I'll probably try this, this, this one here next. Same problem. <laughs> One side of the spindle is nice and hard, the other side is soft. It's not able to center itself out. So I'm not balanced. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'll uh, start trimming this up. I mean, this is fine, there's the spindle. Okay. Having all kinds of challenges uh, just trying to find a decent spindle just made out of pine. So I ended up cheating or uh, actually switching out and resorting to uh, saw uh, sable palm. So got a sable palm spindle that I just trimmed up. Let's see if we're at least able to get smooth action. And do a burn in. Too much trouble here. Alright, 
end up switching out the fireboard. This one's a little more solid. Where'd my other one go? As opposed to this one. But I think it's too rotted. Cut in my notch. All right, here's what I'm working with. I got my uh, fireboard here, just car carved the notch right there. Uh, so a little bit of a, I don't know, unique uh, divot I've got here, but we'll give it a try. And I've got my bearing block right here with my green vegetation for as a lubrication, and then my spindle. It'd be something like this. So, pine fireboard, sable palm, or cabbage palm spindle with my uh, pine bearing block. <coughs> and give it a try. I'm using my saw palmetto fibers for the bowstring. Starting to get its wear and tear. See if it'll hold up. how it goes. Looks good. Well, that was a challenging one. Bowstring held up. See where it is? There we go. The shade in the way. Okay, I got my amber. Now, I think it's too much flammable stuff around. Nope. 
plan on having a fire. Got a tinder bundle. Yeah, I had some punk wood around somewhere. Where'd it go? It is. Let's go with Enigma's third philosophy here. Just at least uh, maintain the ember. I guess the nice thing about punk wood is it buys you time in case you're not prepared. Yeah, like I have my materials, I just didn't get it ready. What I'm doing now is just breaking this up to get more fibrous. I need the small particle type material to help get this to go to flame. Yeah, that works out. There we go. Fire. Used all natural materials freshly found include the bowstring and the bearing block. And all I used was a small Swiss Army knife. Okay, uh, I guess just uh, do a little bit of after show here. This is the bowstring after the fact. So I think it held up pretty well considering I put it through probably a good 15 or so uh, efforts including burn-ins with uh, spindles that other spindles that didn't work out so at least three other spindles that I was toying with that were in a bad state of decay and I think this would have held up well even for another one if I went for another one I'm happy with it here's the fireboard same thing probably got, I think I got a big enough gap to where I could Go for another one. And the spindle. Actually, I had a little long. But it was probably from having to try to work with such short uh, pine spindles beforehand. So, cool. Not bad. Shade in the way here. <laughs>